Hello and welcome uh, to this uh, special uh, broadcast on One India. Captain S.S. Paneser is there. He is the former director flight safety for Indian Airlines. And we are talking to him because of uh, the flight that started off uh, from uh, Trichy in Tamil Nadu towards Sharjah had to circle over uh, Trichy and the Tamil Nadu region for at least two and a half hours because the hydraulic uh, failure was there. Captain Paneser, help us understand what is the hydraulic failure and what happens to the plane when it happens during takeoff. See, on a Boeing 77, there are three hydraulic systems. Mm -hmm. They work for different, uh, for landing gear, flaps, and braking and all that. If there's a leak of hydraulic system, I think uh, Captain has taken the right decision to land back at uh, Trichy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, since the flight, the long flight and landing at Sharjah with the snag and all that, would have been much difficult for the airline to send a stop for repairs and all that to Sharjah. Mm -hmm. No, he landed by done a good decision, but how this leak has taken place, they have to investigate why this leak has taken place. Absolutely. Did the captain also go checklist? You know, when they before take off, they go around the aircraft, mm -hmm. and if they any leak, they can observe leak also. If the pilot did not observe the leak, there mm -hmm. means something happened after take off, and right. some system, and that's all the hydraulic leak out. Sometimes the system goes that you cannot even take the gear up. Mm -hmm, you can't take the wheels mm -hmm. don't go up and you have some further emergency, it'll be very serious. Mm -hmm. Now, I appreciate this decision to land back at Trichy to save the, uh, you know, airline functioning. They have to send the staff to Sharjah with all the metal and material. It'll take a long time and then the Sharjah investigation board have intervened. It would have delayed a number of days for the flight to be released. But since he landed okay. back at Trichy, he's done a good job. I right, appreciate sir. that. But no, the only they have to investigate how this uh, leak took place. It is it, not a very common uh, thing, but it it has happened earlier also number of times when the hydraulic leaks take place, mm -hmm. and uh, the pilot has to land back immediately as per the checklist. Right. Also, sir, uh, help us understand. The pilot decided to circle around the Indian airspace for two and a half hours. We have been told that it is because of the fuel that it was carrying from since the time of takeoff. What does that mean? How does that work? Sir, I tell you, every aircraft is entitled for a particular takeoff weight, considering okay. the airport temperature winds and all that. But the if you take up with a maximum weight, you, you are not supposed to land with the maximum landing weight because landing weight, you have to be reduced it. Otherwise, okay. it will be very see the tire burst and so many things can happen. Mm -hmm. To reduce the weight of the aircraft, so they have to dump the fuel, you know. Mm -hmm. If they can, some aircraft have the facility to dump the fuel so that the weight of the aircraft is reduced to a landing mm -hmm. weight, maximum landing weight, and then he can land safely. Mm -hmm. But if there's very serious emergency, he can land with a maximum landing weight also, with the extra cautious, smooth landing, and with a proper speed and all that. But right. he must have been hoping to dump the fuel or you waste the fuel by flying over so that the landing weight comes into the you know, within the limits and all that for the right, same sir. landing weight to circle around to either to dump the fuel or to use the fuel if there's no dumping facility like mm -hmm. big aircraft they have a dumping facility you can dump the fuel whatever mm -hmm. you like it to bring the landing weight within the limit mm -hmm. if you take up the takeoff weight it is not the same landing weight landing weight is much less than the takeoff weight uh, absolutely. After uh, covering that distance, the fuel is also used. Uh, Captain Paneser, as you rightly mentioned, that the pilot uh, did the right thing by landing in uh, uh, in India and Trichy itself. Uh, we have just been told that uh, flight AI-613, captain was Daniel Pelissa, a woman captain, sir. And uh, kudos to her, as you just mentioned. And uh, what is the kind of training or pressure handling technique that, that the pilots must be undergoing? She took off. She realized that the front wheel is not closing down. The hydraulic problem is there. Then she had to make a lot of decisions. Yes. You see, all these emergency procedures are listed in a booklet, which is mm -hmm. a quick reference handbook. They are also on a computer also. Any emergency takes place, he has to follow the checklist. And mm -hmm. as per checklist, 
if his takeoff weight is more than the landing weight, he has to consume fuel or dump fuel to make mm. the aircraft as a landing weight. And all these training has been given to the pilots during the simulator training and flying training. And by definitely circular, technical circular pilots are given enough training to mm -hmm. how to land with the land, maximum landing weight. But right. if there is a greater emergency, like if an engine also fails, then he can land with the maximum landing weight, uh, maximum take, uh, take up weight also. And he has to land very cautiously so the tires don't burst. So he can land with the maximum take up weight also. But it is better if we dump the fuel or use the fuel and land with the, within the landing weight limit so there's no further damage on the tires and all that by after landing. Right. Uh, Captain S. Espanisa, thank you so much for talking uh, to us uh, and taking time out at such a short notice. We really appreciate and your inputs are most welcome. Uh, act as an awareness uh, uh, thing also for our viewers. Thank you, sir. Don't miss out. Log on to oneindia.com for more updates.